Hey everybody, welcome uh, to Prepper Junkie. Today we're going to go over this Palmetto State Armory AR-15 kit. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right on in. Um, so looking at it here, you can see that it comes with the upper completed. It comes with the standard upper here. And it does come with the, the bolt carrier group and the charging handle. It's just a basic charging handle. And then uh, moving forward here, this is a lightweight M-Lock rail, 13 and a half inch. It's a really nice rail. It's been aggressively cut out on top as well, as you can see here. Um, it looks really nice. Um, I'm really happy with the rail here. Uh, and then moving forward, we have the A2 flash hider. In the barrel is an FN 1 and 7 twist, and it's an FN cold hammer forged barrel. So the upper, uh, this is a really nice upper set uh, kit here that we have. Um, with the FN barrel especially, uh, Palmetto has uh, has a deal with them uh, to basically produce their cold hammer forge barrels for them. So it's a, it's a great quality kit. If you don't know the difference between a cold hammer forge and a, and a plain old uh, original barrel, um, the best way I can essentially describe it is that um, just for talk numbers, you know, an original barrel might last you say 7,000 rounds and where in a cold hammer forge barrel could last you up to 20,000 plus rounds. So it's just a, you know, for, for the money, it's, uh, it's just a nice upgrade. Yeah, I'm super happy with that. Um, it does come with a Magpul front and uh, front and rear sight. And uh, it does come with a complete lower kit also in here. So let's have a look here. Okay, so we have we have a Magpul MOE grip and it does have the storage compartment at the bottom. The top must be in here somewhere. So that's a nice upgrade also. Oh, not the camera. Okay, and then for the stock we have um, another Magpul MOE product. Which is super nice. It's not the CTR version, which has the friction lock here. Um, but again, this furniture is still, it's still a nice upgrade than kind of the standard uh, furniture you get with an AR-15. So um, it's just it's just kind of nice to have it right at the start. Uh, we have here's um, the buffer tube and the spring and so forth. And in this last bag, what else do we have in here? It's just the kit. It does come uh, for the strip lower kit. It does come for with a, a PSA. EPT trigger, which stands for Enhanced, Enhanced Polish Trigger. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that this is actually quite a nice trigger. It's a nice step up from the mil spec trigger. It's not as nice as your Geisley or anything like that, but it's definitely a step up from your mil, mil spec trigger. So that's a nice upgrade also. Um, so all you need to really do is to complete this kit is have, uh, you know, you can buy, if you if you want to stick with PSA, they do have lowers that go on sale for about $29, um, which is a phenomenal price. And I do have a PSA lower to go with this, so I'm going to end up building this out. And I'll make another video um, on, you know, how the accuracy and things like that is. So this is an unboxing basically to show you what we have. And this is the kit. So this kit will cost you, it runs $5.99 uh, and it usually ships for free plus tax. Um, I think, as I say, it's, it's for the value, I think you're getting you're getting your money's worth here, as I say, with an MOE grip, a Magpul MOE grip with the Magpul stock, front and back up, uh, front and back side from uh, Magpul, um, having the, the lightweight, aggressively cut out, really nice looking um, M-lock uh, rail there, I think is super nice. And having the FN barrel, the Cold Hammer Forge barrel, I think this is a great kit for the money. Uh, it's definitely not an entry level kit. I would say this is more of a mid-range kit. Um, for sure. So yeah, just going to go ahead and build it now. All right, I went ahead and uh, built out the, the lower here. So that is the completed uh, rifle. I think it looks pretty badass. Um, so yeah, so let's go and have a quick look at the lower here. Um, so it's just a Palmetto State Armory. Now this isn't loaded, this was just for demo. This is from Palmetto State Armory lower. You can see it here, it's stamped. There's the trigger. I was telling you about. Let's have a look here. Very, very little take up than to the wall. Almost no take up at all. Let me just show you the reset. Let's see if it gets on screen. Really short reset. Very tactile, audible. So yeah, I mean, as I said, I told you before that the mil this is way nicer than the mil spec trigger. Not as nice as the Geisley, but, but it's definitely a good trigger for the price. All right, so I just wanted to show you completed. I think it looks great. 
Just got to get some range time now. All right, guys. See you later.